like you know and leave a comment below. Your body has no choice but to release anger. Whether it's screaming in a pillow or ugly crying, you have to release it. Many of you, like myself, have grown up or are growing up in an environment where parents believe that the only way to communicate is by yelling and screaming. And some of you have matured enough to know that's not the case. If your tongue has a mind of its own when you're mad, or you lose control of what you're saying during a disagreement, this one is for you because we're about to dive right in to discuss the reasons why mastering your emotions is important. Welcome back to Sue Space. This channel was created for you young people so that you can have a space to talk about your struggles and challenges. Our conversations are coming from a place of wisdom and experience. I've struggled, I've healed, and I'm here. So don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload. Your voice matters, so let's grow this space together. Ooh, young people, are you out there arguing people to the ground like I did? and not allowing them to finish their sentence before having a rebuttal answer. Do you get upset with yourself after an argument for not being able to express or communicate in a more mature way? Have you ever considered that every time you speak, yell, or curse someone out, you're exchanging energy that may not always be positive, but it will put you in a stressful mindset and disrupt your ability to listen, analyze the situation, or think clearly? Simply put, it unbalances you, it throws you off. There's so many relationships that have been damaged or permanently destroyed as a result of being reactive, lashing out. For reactions can ruin relationships and ultimately push people away because when you speak out of anger, you don't know what you're saying until hurtful words are said. Every time you resist the urge to react when triggered, your power of awareness strengthens as you remain in control. The calmer you are, the clearer you think. Always remember that you are in control of your thoughts, behavior, and actions. And I can tell you firsthand that reprogramming your mind and changing your words and attitude is a constant battle every day. Every day, try to focus on how you can pour positivity in the world and let your words be healthy and encouraging, not only for your mental health, but for others too. Practice to remain calm, conscious, and aware of how you react to situations. Your words have repercussions. So if you know that you have a hot temper or loose lips, now is the time for you to start learning how to master your emotions. I don't like to use the word control because I don't want you to make the mistake of thinking controlling means hiding, staying silent, and not processing or validating how you feel. Mastering your emotions helps you to control how you react or what you say in the heat of the moment. Because when you're mad or upset, it's easy to say or do things that you regret afterwards. Young people, there's so much power in your tongue. Your words can either lift people up with genuine support and encouragement or tear them down with vindictive, threatening, spiteful ones. Pay attention. That arguing, going back and forth, trying to prove a point that you're right and the other person's wrong won't always get you anywhere but it will drain your energy. Learn not to waste energy on people who are not adding value to your life or filling your cup. Your voice and words are powerful, but so is your silence. Silence is powerful because it confuses people. It's okay to forgive yourself again and again when your tongue loses its mind and steps out of character. Corrected behavior will always be better than unchanged behavior, knowing you need to work to learn the lessons and doing nothing about it. Learn to cut people off gracefully. There's no reason to be nasty because attacking others won't make you progress or feel better about yourself or the situation. Now there will be some people who will purposely try to trigger you to get a reaction out of you because they're low vibrational and unhappy with their own lives. So they try to get a rise out of you so you can feel miserable along with them too. Misery loves company. Anything that angers you is teaching you compassion and forgiveness Survey says, don't hold animosity, continue to speak positivity over your life, and learn how to become emotionally balanced. 
to overcome obstacles in your life, you have to get to a point where you master your emotions. But remember, you're not responsible for anyone else's but your own. Act like you know and leave a comment below. Young people, act like you know and leave a comment below. What have you killed in your life with your words? And that's all for this one. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button before you head out if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and true to yourself until the next one.